Hey, YouTube. Lord, have mercy. what have y'all done to Uncle Ricky? What have y'all done to Uncle Ricky? Ricky Smiley. Lord, have mercy. This man, I just saw the video. Ricky Smiley tried to give y'all a nice dinner for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and y'all have carried on so bad that this man has to go on here and call the family niggas in front of everybody. <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> Poor Ricky Smiley. Okay. So the man is successful, right? He got a lot of money. He said, well, let me share this with my family. I want to do something special. I have chauffeur-driven cars to pick them up to control the traffic. But also, I feel like I'm, I'm treating them with class. You know, they can get picked up at the lots, driven to the house. I'm going to have servers there. I'm going to have bartenders there, dancing girls if you need them. Whatever you need to make a perfect, Ricky Smiley, this is this. Check this out, bro. Although your family is happy for you that you are successful, there's a part of them that rem that is very jealous of the of you because they want it to be them. Why him and not me? So even though they love you and they love that you're successful and they tell all their friends that you are a relative, part of them is going to be jealous of you. So, they ain't their fault. It's just nat human nature. Somebody in the family always does better than everybody else. Every time that person with the money try to do something nice, <laughs> chop, chop that ass up. <laughs> you didn't do it right enough. <laughs> so, Ricky, Valley, Ricky Smiley invited his whole family to Thanksgiving dinner. He done did all this stuff for them, right? Now, he pissed off because they, they complained about the way the food was served. They ain't like that. They didn't like, why are you picking us up in a car? <laughs> we could drive our own car. They were asking the man, you know, listen, can we drive up? No. It's a problem with parking. He could have said that. You could have been nice. <laughs> but no, you go complaining. <laughs> this man said he set up eight for eight days. This is a busy man now. Eight days. Chopping up onions and bell peppers with love. His own daughter making beautiful desserts to serve to y'all. We want to really do it up for the family. Share the wealth. Show them how much we love them, right? And you know what it feels like, people. You know, put all that effort, all that work. And the cooking, the cooking was done by hand, by him personally. He could have just had it catered, but he said, no, I want to cook for you. I'm going to cook for you. So, you know, after eight days of preparation, you kind of feel good. You know, you kind of I did, like, did something nice for the family. Oh, no. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> bitchin', bitchin', bitchin'. Family, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Y'all done push Uncle Smiley to, to treat y'all like that. He done called y'all uh, African Americans, the other word, in front of the whole world because you behave so badly. Y'all need to apologize to your uncle or your uh, son-in-law, whoever he is to you. Apologize. Say, listen, we, we, do, we do appreciate the nice dinner, okay? We just regular Negroes, and we are not used to all of this extra. They can't be happy because it's not them, honey. That's just, you got to accept that, Ricky Smiley. There's, if you got, if you're doing better than other family members, there's a certain way you got to handle that, handle that position. That's the position. Right? Now, I know he's probably done all kind of nice things for these people through the years or whatever, but, but it's never going to be enough. Because it's not them. It's your success. So, everybody's not going to be able to, 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 to deal with uh, chauffeur-driven cars and waiters and they want to put their feet in it, you know. But I thought it was amu it amused the hell out of me because <laughs> he was so pissed off. <laughs> now, this is Ricky Smiley not trying to be funny, right? So he has promised the family, the whole family, for all of us to hear and see. He made a promise to y'all. He said, from now on, you're not going to have to worry about the service. <laughs> you ain't going to have to worry about it. <laughs> He said he's going to pitch a big tent in front of his school in, the, in their town, wherever he lives, and feed the homeless. Y'all, if y'all want to get, y'all want a plate, come over and eat with the homeless. 
That's the way it's going to be. You ain't got to worry about my house, my furniture. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't going to worry about how many bathrooms I got and why is it so far away from the kitchen and all. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Come down to the tent. Get you a plate. Y'all got to make it right with Ricky Smiley. I mean, the person, it ain't the, the money that was spent. That's one thing. He got money. Is the love he poured into trying to do something special for you. Now, y'all know damn well y'all going to need Ricky Smiley. <laughs> Next time PG and E come talking about them, them lights gonna get turned off. Y'all gonna need to call Uncle. So my suggest, family, make it right. Make it right. Not because you want something, but because it just ain't right. Celebrities are people too. <laughs> and because they have money, don't assume that they don't have feelings. I don't think he was trying to be funny. I think he was really reading y'all for real. So y'all go ahead and make it right with y'all family. He did it publicly, you know, so apparently he was really hurt by that. And I can see it. I can see it. You put that, all that time, effort, trying to plan everything just right. And what do you get? <laughs> he said an army of complainers, whiners, like you're some kind of, you're some kind of Beverly Hillbillies yourself. <laughs> you should be glad to get a nice meal. Anyway, ch ch make it right with your, with your, with your uncle. Okay, so he wants to come over here reading y'all, calling y'all N words and such in front of everybody. Now he said, not not only is next year's dinner going to be uh, shared with the homeless down in the tent, he said from now on. So <laughs> let's hope he's not a man of his word <laughs> and he doesn't choose to punish y'all for the rest of your damn lives. All right, family, make it right.